Greetings, brothers and sisters. My name is Linda, and my channel is called Simple Help Now. As I was going to sleep to last night, the Lord began to share some things about the rapture moment that we are soon to experience. It came in part, and I will share what I saw. Before I do, I want to say that Jesus is my Lord and Savior. He came in the flesh. He died on a cross for your sins and mine, and he rose again after three days for our salvation. Last night, the Lord began to highlight some words to me. And these were the words, in a twinkling of an eye. I went to read 1 Corinthians 52, excuse me, 15, 52, and 53. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound in the dead and will be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Whose eyes are twinkling and that we are suddenly changed? I did some research and I found out the word speaks often of God's eyes. I'll read a few of those scriptures. Genesis 6, 8 says that Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. He found grace. Psalm 17, 8 says, keep me as the apple of your eye. That was favor. Interestingly, when David in 1 Samuel 26, 24 was seeking to kill Saul, but then released him, he spared him from death and he said, and indeed, as your life was valued much in this day in my eyes, so let my life be valued much in the eyes of the Lord and let him deliver me out of all tribulation. David was asking God for deliverance from tribulation. We can remember this as we face the start of the great tribulation. Ask in prayer to be delivered from it. Luke 21, 36 says, Watch therefore and pray always that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that will come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. 2 Samuel 22, 28 shows that God is watching both good and evil people very closely. Psalms 11, 4 says, His eyelids test the sons of man. And this one I love. Psalms 139, 16, God watches the unborn as he creates each one, and he writes their days all down in a book. One more. Revelation 1, 14 is a description of Jesus. And in the midst of the seven lampstands, one like the Son of Man, clothed with a garment down to the feet and girded about the chest with a golden band. His head and hair were white like wool, as white as snow, and his eyes like a flame of fire. There are so many verses about what God is watching, and he has fire in his eyes. Did you know that our emotions are revealed through our eyes? When joy or love is intense, your eyes will actually become watery or glisten. People in love have eyes that are soft with feelings. So the revelation I felt last night was this, that Jesus is filled with joy and emotion about being with his bride. In the moment of his coming, could it be that the twinkling of an eye is his eye or his father's eyes revealing deep emotional love at the retrieval of the bride to himself the twinkling could be a moment of complete joy that you are going to be with him what a thought his love his joy his reward his bride after this, I felt that he spoke to me about this and feel free to test all words. Here's what I felt he said. My eyes are twinkling with love for my bride, my bride in heaven and on earth. The reunion of my beloved bride in union with me will be the cherished moment of the ages. Angels are watching for this great event to unfold. There will be joy and gladness beyond your expectations. Be watchful, my children. The time is now. 
you will be caught up in a glorious reunion of family. In the Father's joy, in a twinkling of an eye, in his emotion of love, you will be caught into the embrace, his embrace, and see your bridegroom's face. You will see his love for you. My children, stay fixed with your heart and eyes on me. My love for you never fails. And that's what I felt he said. And then he added for us to pray. He said, today and tomorrow be in prayer as events transpire of great consequence for the world. It will cause fear, but you are not to be fearful. As you stand in me, pray for the lost to return to the fold of their savior. So even when things happen beyond our control in this world, so we stay fixed, secure in the love and salvation and the joy that awaits us. Remember to stand in his peace, declaring Psalms 91 over your life. Stand fast looking up. We are waiting for that twinkling moment when his eyes flash with love and you are caught up. Thanks for listening. This is Linda with Simple Help Now.